Welcome back to another episode of Model GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about the updates that Yamaha brought to the Spang test last weekend. Now, when testing got underway, Fabio Quadraro had three bikes in his garage. There were two 2023 specification bikes, although they were running different types of 2022 aero. And there was the standard 2022 bike, which they used with the main aero. Now, very early after Quadraro got himself up to speed on Friday morning, he started coming out with the new aero style. And immediately going through the speed traps, everyone was very, very impressed with the time and I suppose people were, were getting a little bit carried away with saying that the engine issue is now solved. Now they have said that the engine is definitely better, but again, I'm not 100% sure or satisfied that all of the straight line speed that they have gained is down to the aerodynamics. Now they have hit 335.4 kilometers an hour which is f much faster. It is five kilometers an hour faster than um, they were last year. However, looking at Ducati, the highest speed that they hit was 337. Personally, myself, I don't think Ducati have really opened the taps. They're certainly not going to get two kilometers an hour slower. So I'm just wondering if anything, will Ducati be faster down the straight than last year? If so, then the developments have been negated, really. But what I wanted to talk to you about here was with the new front wing, and you'll see it better here that if you look at it, the front wing doesn't have the duckbill anymore. What it has is like just by the intake here, you will see it is a straight line across at the front of the bike. However, if you look here at Franco Morbidelli's, where the intake starts, there is still the duckbill in front of it. And if I'm very, very honest, I genuinely believe there is a lot less surface area on the new wing than on the old wing. And again, here you'll see Quadraro banked over and you will see that it is all part of the nose cone at the front it's going into the ram air section it's not actually hanging out in front like it used to and if i blend franco morbidelli's one in you will see it see where the wing is actually an extension onto the front nose cone of the bike now that wasn't the only aerodynamic update that they did bring because at another stage, uh, Franco Morvidelli did come out with the, what I would call the high downforce version of the low downforce version that they're running. So you will see it's very Ducati KTM-esque where it comes up and over. If you would like to say it is basically the new version with an add-on. And this is kind of worrying for me because all you can see here is that what Yamaha have tried to do, especially on the nose cone section, is just try to reduce the drag. And if that is the case, it's of course going to bite them back later on where when they don't have the downforce. Now, the other area where they were working on was the downward duct at the end of the side pod. And here you can see, again, it is a very, very conservative version of the downward duct. Um, again, which leads me to think that Yamaha are really worried about drag. And if they're really worried about drag affecting the engine, you know, have they really got around the whole engine problem? Here you will also see that they're starting into the ground effect. Again, it is a very, very modest bit of engineering onto the side pod but again it is a start uh, but saying that again with the aerodynamics they have gone very conservative you know they have tried to reduce the drag there's no stegosaurus wings etc where 
again it just worries me that is this majority of this performance coming from reducing a drag rather than engine performance in itself the other thing that they definitely were working on is a new swing arm and here you'll see the new swing arm take note of what i will call the axe shape at the just where the linkage or just below the exhaust there but on the front of it and if you compare that to the one that he was using last year you'll see there is a much difference in the shape the one last year was much bigger but again it's like on the previous one they, they did cut away a section there's a bevel on it also so it is definitely different um, really good to get an understanding of what the actual difference or are they trying to build in more flex there the other thing that I did notice however I don't really have the pictures yet is that Franco Morbidelli was trying a new frame and I know it's a new frame because Yamaha normally have their frames in black and anything that is new it tends to be in silver and here you are it's raw aluminium it does look like that they're keeping with the hard nose edge on the side rails of the aluminium beams normally they bevel those slightly and um, so it is a little bit different but overall with Yamaha I'm, I'm actually more concerned now than I was before the test I did think they would make a step forward but I think the step forward is not actually engine I think it is more uh, aerodynamics which is fine until they get into a race and they need to drive the tire into the ground and you know one of the issues that Quadraro and Franco Morbidelli said that when they put on new tires the performance is not there they're quite happy with the old tires but with new tires they're not making the jump forward and again for me this is really really worrying if they can't qualify the bike any chance or hope of race wins is gone out the window for them. Now I will get more pictures as the week goes on of the Yamaha and the test, but again, I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the updates that Yamaha have brought? Are you happy to see them or are you a bit dissatisfied and underwhelmed like myself? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.